Yeah, yeah, it's on. So what I what I find what I find is that if I if I focus too much on like I'm hitting the ball out in front, I don't get the amount of effect. Like if I'll hit a like a serve down the tee, for example, right? If I'm here, the ball's not really like like slicing away from the guy as much as I want. But if I wait for it, so I still get all of my momentum and energy. Like I said, if I'm jumping, I just try to take the ball behind me a little bit, or if I'm just doing a normal serve, kind of wait. Sorry. Wasn't a Was that like three? Have you, did you have three lights in a row? Really? That was actually impressive. But here we go. The idea is that you wait long enough, okay, you wait long enough to where you can really kind of use the angle and get around the ball. And then the I find the, the biggest bonus of this, is this still video? Yes. Okay, like Jamie and I have spent a lot of time on court with uh, Riley Opelka. And basically what he says he does on his serve, he says he doesn't even think about, like on the first serve, okay? he doesn't even think about tossing over his left shoulder, right? It's just like, it's just basically putting it out there. He's either gonna hit that spot or hit this one that bends to the left, right? But I feel like specifically with this racket, you can do that same thing. And if it's there, it's Oh like, my. Like there's even an added element of being able to that was nasty. Like, toss it out there. And because you can kind of hook it and take it behind behind your body, you can almost put like, like, like that wasn't really a kick, but you can put like almost a kick effect. And then with that same spot, like you toss it out there. And that's an exaggeration, but the ball's like, obviously I missed my target, but the main thing we're trying to get is effect here. And then, you know, finding your target once you already like establish the desired effect. Okay, thanks.